Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, January 3rd. By the way, we will be going to the CES trade show for the rest of the week. We'll still be making Quick Charge, but it will be an on-the-go version. Let us proceed. Tesla announced that they achieved both record production and deliveries during the last quarter of 2021. Sunday morning, the automaker decided to release their production and delivery numbers for the fourth quarter and also the rest of the year combined, announcing 305,000 vehicles produced in the fourth quarter and 308,000 delivered. The announcement eclipsed Wall Street expectations set around 265,000. This puts Tesla a bit below their once outlandish goal of delivering 1 million electric vehicles in a calendar year. They wound up at 936,172 deliveries. Nonetheless, the growth is staggering. At this rate, 2022 will put Tesla at a number closer to 1.2 million for one year's time. Investors welcomed Tesla's fourth quarter production and delivery numbers as they sent the automaker's market capitalization surging by $100 billion on the first day of trading of 2022. This kind of jump in value is massive for the company, already valued at over $1 trillion. It means that Tesla's market capitalization increased by over $100 billion this morning. Wow. Tesla's stock price is now just $30 shy of their all-time high set back in November. Tesla is rallying its employees to fight back against California's NEM 3.0 proposal that could potentially make the biggest solar market no longer viable. NEM 3.0 is a controversial proposal from the California Public Utilities Commission, and it would introduce some massive changes to the net metering for solar customers, including slashing the rate of residential solar production down to four cents per kilowatt hour. On top of slashing net metering rates, the proposal adds a new fixed monthly charge for solar owners of $8 per kilowatt hour installed. The proposed changes have been slammed by solar companies and the environmental groups, but they have found support from the three major electric utility companies in the area. Tesla has become the best-selling brand in Norway for the whole year of 2021. It helped the country hit a new electric vehicle record of 64.5%, within the year. That means 64.5% were all electric, not even hybrid. Within the top 10 vehicles sold, nine of them are electric, with the Tesla Model 3 topping the charts. That's despite the fact that the Model S and X were not available in the market and will be coming later in this year. Other electric vehicles also added significant volume, the Volkswagen ID4, the Volvo XC40, and the Mustang Mach-E. Mercedes-Benz has introduced a new prototype called the Vision EQXX. It features an efficient electric drivetrain, lightweight engineering, and is styled with sustainable materials. The vehicle is an ultra-aerodynamic sedan, optimistically stating a range of 750 miles on a single charge. The vehicle features a spanning touchscreen across the whole dash, and for some reason a transmission tunnel spearing the interior. We wonder what features will be pulled into reality as time goes on. 14-time champion Stefan Peterhansel suffered massive suspension damage to his electric Audi RSQ e-tron while running second in the Dakar Rally. The Dakar Rally races vehicles in a brutal endurance test, riding for hours at a time through triple-digit heat of the Saudi Arabian desert. After waiting for nearly four hours for a support truck to arrive, news reached the Audi team that the second vehicle had become lost, adding nearly two hours to their stage time and effectively eliminating Audi from the competition. There's still hope for a top 10 finish, as the third Audi, piloted by Matthias Ekstrom, may be able to get on the chart. Maybe next year, one of the longest, harshest races on the planet will be championed by an EV. We'll have to see. In today's community comment, most of you express support for the idea of a more detailed dive into a main story. You're probably wondering where that content is because I didn't do it today. This week we'll be going to the CES trade show, so I have a lot of things to get ready and prepare for to do that. After I return and get back on my feet, we'll start the new format. I barely started making some new graphics, but the hardest part is done, and that's the inspiration. Here's one tiny piece that I'll show you. I'm thinking of making an electricity flow through a wiring diagram and then reach an electrical signal, in this case a switch, and then the flow expands into some kind of interesting EV video. 
The current flow on this make-believe diagram will go through a few symbols, and then it will end at a charge symbol where the finished graphic will sit, looking something like this. Anyway, that's what I've got going on, but what about you? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.